Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me. I'm in the woods. It's a miserable grey day today in Ireland. There's nothing really to be excited about. And when you've got conditions like this, a perfect place to come to is a woodland. Where I've come to is a place actually that I had wanted to visit last year. And when I arrived here, it was closed for wood felling. So I'm in a uh, Quilchia forest, which is a controlled forest. So they will grow trees and then they'll cut trees and grow more trees and cut more trees. So unfortunately, when I came here last year, it was closed due to felling, like I said. And I actually headed off down to the, another part of the country. And that's where I actually got my uh, photographs of the waterfall close to Mill Street from Cork. So it wasn't too bad in the end of the time when it was actually closed. But I've come back here now because what I want to try and do is see what I can find here today. I know where the waterfall is. I will end up at that waterfall. But stream that's coming through and there's some lovely s curves that are coming through it we have a small bit of fog as well that's in the air so maybe just maybe i'll get a couple of nice shots here but yeah i'm going to play around look for a couple of compositions anyway and see what we can do with this uh, s curve or this leading line of this stream that's running through this beautiful forest Something I always like to try and do when I come near water is actually get into the water and get up close because when you're using your wide angle lens like my 16 to 35, it allows you to get very, very close to your foreground interest. What that does is actually makes it look bigger. So, you know, it extenuates that, it kind of makes it, you know, fill the frame more and it changes the scene in regards to what you're looking for. I've come in here, I've done a handheld shot a moment ago and, you know, it's always handy to have waterproof hiking boots because you don't need to worry obviously about getting wet but you've also got good grip but when i came in earlier with a couple of handheld shots um you know i i was thinking i was going to go for a portrait orientation just purely because of the way this is all laid out but as i said earlier we're in a quilcher forest so there's a bit of tree felling going on so there's a big gap in the top left hand corner of the frame so i don't really want to have that in the shot so i'm electing now to go for a landscape orientation and what that will do is it'll give me more of the flow anyway that we see here in front. It will minimize the whiteness, I suppose, or the bareness that we have on the top left-hand corner of the frame as well. And it should give a lovely photograph. As I said earlier, still a small bit of fog as well that's lingering around. So hopefully that'll add as well to a bit of atmosphere in regards to the shot also. Settings-wise, similar to what I do with Seascape, is I'm aiming for half a second. So that will give me enough of movement in the water, not make it too milky water, let's just say. But also, because it's during the day here today, um, I've got my 0.9 medium grad on, so I would love to be able to put my polarizer on, and you know, I've always sworn by having a polarizer when you come to anything like this, but still haven't replaced my filter holder, and I still haven't replaced the polarizing ring that goes onto the filter holder. So, unfortunately, I have a 220 euro piece of glass that sits in my bag, and I can't use it. But Neither which way. I'll still continue on, I suppose. And I'll use the Grad ND here to be able to control the light that I need to control the light. Um, and be able to get in as close, as I say, as I can to the action that's here also. So I'll take this one here. We're going to continue on up now towards this waterfall, but quick stop anyway here, because it did catch my attention. And the light does seem to be getting nice also.
on the way up to this waterfall, I stopped obviously on the kind of stream that comes off the waterfall. And there's some lovely cascades that are catching my attention as I, as I was going up along. But I've taken a couple of different compositions and I can't really find one that really struck me as, you know, bringing this place to, to justice, I think, is how beautiful it actually can be. Except for when I moved into, once again, landscape orientation. And what that does is that it uses the rocks that are either side to kind of frame your eye and bring you into the flow of the waterfall. And then I've got three cascades then that are within the frame, starting at the one on the bottom right hand corner, moving slightly to the left for the one uh, that's on the second level, and then back again over onto the right for the one for the, uh, the top level. But it's a beautiful uh, waterfall. There's some lovely, lovely textures on the rocks as well. And settings at the moment, I'm still sticking at half a second, and I'm just changing my um, aperture to be able to, you know, control the light that's there if the sun is coming in or the sun is coming out of the clouds, whatever it may have been. But from a sharpness point of view as well, I'm probably going to focus that because I'm getting quite close to the waterfall that's in front of me. So I'll take one shot for that and then take one for something in the distance and then I'll, you know, blend the two of those together. But again, it's at half a second, which again is from my point of view, the, the, the favourite speed that I normally use for capturing movement within water. So, yeah. I'm going to continue on along here. As I see now as well, there's a bit of a pathway that most people would take, but I'm going to go off the pathway. I'm going to follow this stream along because I see a log that's actually, after falling across the tree, or a tree after falling across the stream, that if I get nice light, then I think I should get a nice shot. But yeah, beautiful uh, photographs, I think, along the way here until we get to the main waterfall itself that I'm looking for today. Sun has come out now and ordinarily I always be happy to find light but when you're shooting in a situation like this pockets of light actually can be difficult because it makes it the highlights too hard to be able to handle so it doesn't really give a flatness I suppose from the light point of view as far as the image is concerned but nonetheless I still took a photograph there a moment ago mm, don't know if it's going to be good or not but here now though where the light is actually just you know streaming in here at my feet uh, I just pointed the camera and said, hmm, okay, that looks interesting. So there's a bit of an area here where we've got these mossy um, branches. And then you've got the light that's streaming in here, lighting up underneath the water, which is a lovely kind of a um, copper color, I suppose, really. But you get a nice movement of the water coming through, framed as well by the, uh, the lush green that we are, obviously, in the middle of the summer as well. But Um, what I've noticed since I've arrived is that people come here, there's a bit of a viewing deck and they stand here, they take a photograph, they all take exactly the same photograph, which is fine, but from a photographer point of view, I always want to try and find a different composition. And what I've done is I've used the water as it's coming down from the waterfall to a small bit of a tinier or a smaller waterfall than just below you actually there, 
which gives a very nice flow all the way through the image, gives a nice foreground image and is leading up then as well to the waterfall at the top of the frame. As you can see as well, there's a honeysuckle tree that's just uh, in front of the waterfall too and got a couple of photographs as well, trying to encompass that really within the shot also. Got in a bit closer too, but the, the spray was a bit much in the front of the lens, so I had to keep cleaning it. Maybe there's a shot there to be taken, but beautiful spot. You know, the light has gone thankfully, or the sun has gone thankfully, so now it's kind of an even spread across the whole area. But I'm really happy to get here a year later anyway, and thankfully it's not as busy um, with people. So, you know, as I said in the previous episode, I'm trying to avoid people. Even as I go right now, there's four people right behind me that are looking at the waterfall. So, you know, that's fine, there's going to be a lot of people around these places anyway as it is, but I'm trying to avoid them for a number of reasons. But one, because I like to be able to get away from things when I go taking photos. So, uh, I'm going to continue on here. I'll show you a small bit more um, slow motion stuff like that that I record for this waterfall. Hope you've enjoyed coming on this episode with me. If it's your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, leave me a comment, and until the next time, show the photo.